Black Lives Matter. This must be spoken loudly. Racism is America's most challenging issue. Since our founding is a nation, it has eaten away at the core of our democratic ideals that all men are created equal, that we are all equals under the law, and that governments derive their authority from the consent of the governed. To my white brothers and sisters, you might respond to Black Lives Matter by saying that all lives matter. But saying that obscures this fact. No one disputes that our lives matter. This is not the problem. The system does not discount our lives. The system does not routinely kill us during traffic stops, outside of convenience stores, while we are already in handcuffs or in our homes while we sleep. The police don't need to be reminded that white lives matter. White people are allowed to carry assault weapons into state capitol buildings. White people are allowed to stage armed occupations of federal lands. White lives already matter. When we say black lives matter, what we are really saying is that black lives matter too. Black lives are routinely and historically undervalued in America. From the original constitution where a black life was worth three-fifths of a white life, to the Jim Crow laws designed specifically to keep black voices silent, to KKK lynchings witnessed by white families for entertainment while out for a picnic, to the Tuskegee syphilis experiments where our black brothers were purposefully allowed to die while white doctors watched and lied to them about curing their illness. But why should we have to qualify the statement that black lives matter? Why should we have to add the two? Is it wrong to demand that America value the lives of her children? Is it wrong to demand that America should stop killing her black children at more than twice the rate of her white children? No! We should not have to qualify that black lives matter we must state strongly that black lives matter. It must be accepted as fact. It must be declared as truth. This statement does not place less value on other lives. It reminds us that in America, the statement that all lives matter has not been true. When there is injustice, we must call attention to the injustice. Every time we bring up a problem, do we also have to point out all of the things that are not a problem? No! We must face the problem. We must name the problem. We must own the problem. And then we must commit to solve the problem. White lives already matter. We do not need to say that again. What we need to say is that black lives matter because that's where there is a problem. So what do we hide when we say all lives matter? When we say all lives matter, we hide what is happening to our black brothers and sisters. We zoom out so far that we can ignore the details of their struggles. We can ignore the unfair treatment they get from the system. We can say, well, the system works for me, so the system must be working. We don't have to look at the reality of people who are treated differently from us. It is permission for selective blindness. It gives cover for us to ignore the desperate situation that our black brothers and sisters live in every day. So why do our black brothers and sisters get angry when their white brother or sister says that all lives matter? Because that means there's someone who does not acknowledge that black lives don't matter as much to our system as white lives do. Because it means that there's someone who is not willing to look directly at one of America's deepest and ugliest problems. Because it means that there is someone who will not stand up for their black brothers and sisters and demand justice. Because it means that the problem will not be solved.
humanity is one humanity. We are not separate humanities. We have already spent too much of our precious time and energy trying to prove that one part of ourself is somehow less than another part of ourself. How much progress and greatness have we lost in preoccupation with those foolish efforts? How much harm have we done to ourselves by continuously engaging in this blindness? We are the flowers of one garden. The beauty of the garden is in its different colors blended together. We are the notes of one chord. The power and expression in music comes from the blending of different notes and timbres. We are the leaves of one tree. We need the energy collected from all of us to feed and nourish the whole. Our black brothers and sisters are like the pupil of humanity's eye. When you look into the eye, you see the reflection of the soul. Their pain is our pain. Their suffering is humanity's suffering. Their healing will be our healing. We are all created from the same dust. Humanity is one creation. An injury to one part of the body affects the whole body. We must heal ourselves. We must find a cure to the scourge of racism in America. We must look at this problem clearly and unflinchingly. We must acknowledge the pain and injustice that has been inflicted on our black brothers and sisters. We must hold our institutions to a higher standard. We must shine a light into the dark corners where we have not been looking closely enough. Our black brothers and sisters are keenly aware of the injustices they have suffered and continue to endure. My white brothers and sisters, we must not continue with blinders, willing to ignore the suffering of others. So where do we start? Start by saying loudly that black lives matter.